it up. So you guys, as y'all can see from the title, I am going to be showing you guys how to get your fragrance to last all day using body oils. So yes, this is my body oil edition. If you guys haven't checked out any of my previous videos on how to layer to get your fragrance to last all day, I will link them up in the cards and down in the description box, of course. But this one is going to be focusing on body oils because body oils can also be used as a carrier for your scent and something to stick to. So the same way I use Vaseline in my other videos, this one is going to be using perfume oils that will help your scent to carry and to last all day because oils typically don't evaporate off of your skin like the alcohol in say a fine fragrance mist or an actual perfume so that oil is going to sit on your skin for a prolonged period of time and if you spray or you include a scented lotion or a scented perfume or whatever in with that oil or you mix it in with that oil or you layer it on top of that oil your scent is going to last all day trust me look at my skin i got ready like about two hours of Ago, like when I actually filmed that portion of the video it was like two hours ago my skin is still glistening and glowing and I still smell divine okay so you definitely want to try this out especially if you're not a fan of Vaseline and if you have a lot of perfume oils just sitting around in your collection definitely try this out I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video let's get right into it so I'm actually fresh out of the shower, you guys, right now. You can see I still have like water all over me. I haven't towel dried yet, but I am going to kind of blot dry a little bit. I still want to have some moisture and some water on my skin. So I am going to blot a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to go in with is my Fenty Skin Warm Cinnamon Butter Drop. Now, typically, if you guys have seen my previous How to Layer to Get Your Scent to Last Longer videos, I always go in with something like an unscented lotion first or a moisturizer or an oil or something like that because you want to add the moisture to your skin this product right here has so many butters and oils in it that I don't need to go in with something else moisturizing first and then this this is also clean and vegan so I don't have to worry about the fragrance in this irritating my skin because it's a clean and vegan product and it has moisturizing properties but I'm also gonna take this a step further and I'm going to add in my me matte vanilla musk fragrance oil so the reason why I'm adding the oil in because as if this doesn't have enough oils and butters already the reason why i'm going to add this oil in is because this is going to help this fragrance stick to my skin longer and then this scent is already good on its own so i'm kind of getting like double fragrance but i'm also getting a scent carrier because the whole point of layering is because you want to have products that are going to hold and carry your scent all day because scent evaporates off of dry skin faster so if you have something like an oil and a super super moisturizing butter or oil oil based product then your fragrance that you put on top is going to essentially stick and last longer and if you guys want to know what I actually used in the shower to start layering because I do believe that layering starts in the shower then I will link those products down below but I'm going to go ahead and apply this butter all over my skin So I turned you guys around a little bit, but I know y'all can see just how shiny and moisturized my skin looks. So this method, you don't have to rush to spray your sprays on like you did before when I would put the lotion or the body cream on and then immediately spray until my skin was damp. With this method, with the oils, you don't have to rush to do that process because your skin is super, super shiny. It's super, super moisturized. It's super, super hydrated. So you don't have to rush to get your fragrance to stick to your skin. So now let me show you guys what I'm actually going to be spraying on. So as you guys can see, skin is still glistening and nice and shiny from the combination of the body butter and the oil. So you can definitely go right in with your body sprays or whatever perfumes you're going to be using for the day. I now like to wait until after I'm done doing my makeup, especially because I do still put it on my hot spots and everything and I drag my makeup down my neck. So I don't want to like interfere with the perfume or the perfume oil when I'm dragging my foundation and everything down my neck and then as well as like putting on my clothes and stuff so certain spots i will wait until i'm about to fully get dressed to go ahead and apply my perfume oils and my sprays but just for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i'm doing today so now i'm going to take my nest madagascar vanilla perfume oil this is the rollerball i also have the little dropper i love using that oil the same way that i use the knee matte vanilla musk oil but since that one is more expensive i like to use my knee matte oil um, to mix in with my lotions and things and then this one as just just like a hot spot pulse point perfume oil so I like to go ahead and obviously apply it into the creases of my arm and then right here on top of my forearm 
so that you can smell it like when I'm moving around and you can rub this perfume oil in because it's an oil like it's not going to break down the actual composition of the scent note so you can rub this one in especially because we're using it to serve as kind of like a base layer for our perfumes and things like that so I also put it on the tops of my knees like this and the purpose of that is because perfume rises so once it starts to evaporate it rises so obviously you will create a nice scent trail if you're putting it on the backs of your knees um on the tops of your knees and then on your calves and ankles and things like that you can also go ahead and apply the perfume oil to your stomach because that area warms up really really nicely as well and then you can just go ham and go crazy with whatever body spray you're gonna be using. So I'm using Vanilla Bean Noel today because like I said, we're going for this ginger snap cookie type of fragrance. So literally drench your body in it. And this is where I feel a lot of people go wrong. Spray your spray as if you have like a ton, which I mean, I know I do, but spray your spray as if you have a ton. Drench your arm in the spray. Make sure it's like covered in liquid. If you have sensitive skin, then obviously this is not going to work for you. But if you don't have sensitive skin, spray like there's no tomorrow. I can't even tell y'all how many sprays I do. I literally can't tell y'all how many sprays I do because I literally just keep spraying, keep spraying, keep spraying. Like my leg is drenched. So now I'm going to follow it up with the perfumes that I'm using today. Like I said, since we're going for that kind of like ginger snap cookie vibe, I'm going to be using Kaali Vanilla 28. But just to give it like a little bit something different, a nice touch, I'm also going to be using my Okja Italian Cello. So this has a beautiful cinnamon caramel vanilla note. So I feel like it plays really, really well with the cinnamon and the vanilla and all of the sweetness that I have going on. But it also has that blood orange and that bergamot. So it smells so, so good. It's literally like an ice lemon pound cake. So it's like sweet and it plays really, really well with everything else I'm using. And then the vanilla 28 is going to tie everything up. Whew. And with this perfume, I don't need to spray a lot. It's an extract to perfume, so I really don't need to go ham. But then I'm going to top everything off with Vanilla 28, which is like my razzle-dazzle type perfume. Okay, so another little trick that I'm going to show you guys. So you know to spray your clothes the same way that you spray your body with your perfume. By the way, you guys, look at... Look at that oil from the perfume and the oil that I put on, the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil, how it's still sitting on my skin. It's going to sit like that for a while. It's going to take a while to actually evaporate. And that's what you want. That's how you get the scent to stay on your skin all day. That's how you get the scent to stay on your skin longer. But like I was saying, you know to spray your clothes. So drench your clothes in your fine fragrance mist. Drench your clothes in your perfume. But I'm going to show y'all another little hack. And this is straight from the Nemat blog that's on their website. So I got this directly from the source. So you're going to want to take the oil. And you can take a little bit in the palm of your hand. So not much. I took a little bit like that. You want to rub it in. And then you want to rub it on your clothes. So whatever you're wearing for the day, you just want to rub it in. And they say that this prevents staining. So you don't want to just like pour it onto your clothes or anything because it's going to make a big blob of an oil stain. So this prevents it from actually staining your clothes, but you're scenting your clothes with this nice, beautiful, sweet, soft vanilla. It's not too heavy, but you are going to create a win in passing because now your clothes, the fabric from your clothes has that scent on it. So whenever you walk past somebody, stand near somebody, embrace somebody, you're going to have that scent on your clothes and it's going to smell so good, better than any laundry detergent ever so that is something that i have been doing here recently literally a game changer so just pour a little bit of this oil you can use the kaumba made vanilla bean oil or any perfume oil that you have pour a little bit or rub a little bit of the oil into your hand rub it together and then smooth it over your clothes i'm telling y'all is a literal game changer so I think that's actually it for everything that I wanted to show you guys. Like this is literally pretty much the same routine that I've been doing ever since I started doing fragrance layering. It's just that now I'm using actual body oils to change it up a little bit, switch it up a little bit. And I promise you, 
I'm gonna smell good all day. If you do this routine, you're gonna smell good all day as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that when you utilize this and it works, you remember to refer back to this video and tell everyone about it. So yes, I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. If you did, you already know, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.